Young Miami recently released her first solo single titled Rap Freaks under her own name. The song is supposed to be inspired by legacy rappers such as Trina, Lil' Kim, Biggie, and Nicki Minaj who have dropped some big name dropping tracks in the past, but Young Miami didn't do any of these names justice whatsoever in her own song Rap Freaks. The same as other name dropping records, she talks about having relations with rappers in the industry. In Rap Freaks, Young Miami mentions the names of Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Durk in India, DaBaby, Lil Baby, Future, Lori Harvey, and Diddy just to name a few. As far as the video goes, I thought the visuals were cool and the set was very nicely done and I liked how they had a cage and all the freaky BDSM objects that they had in the video. It seemed like they paid really close attention to detail, but when it comes to the actual song itself, it's one of the worst female rap songs I've ever heard. It's the way the beat is dragging her up and down the track as well as I'm just not a fan of her delivery. It's personally just not for me and I find it to be kind of annoying. I'm not sure if the city girls are still having people write their verses or how much of the actual songs they actually write themselves, but if Carisha has hired somebody to write this she needs a refund and whoever wrote this needs to never write another song again the song did however gain popularity in its first two days of its release due to people making fun of her buenos noches line at the end of the song rap freaks went top five on apple music from all the memes but not even a week later fell out of the top 100 of apple music completely the song failed to debut on any spotify charts and has a little over 500,000 streams on the platform in five days the city girls are no strangers to low debuts and not charting high but i feel like their music has just been getting worse over time time. The song overall didn't make a big splash and it just gave people something to laugh at more than to listen to. I'm not sure if she's trying to get people to take her seriously as an artist or not, but I don't think many people will take her solo career seriously at the route that she's going.